I'm trying to fix some solenoids. Um, I've got, I had two of them, and they were both testing bad. Uh, the resistance across the coil was, um, one was 0.4 ohms, it's supposed to be like 5.5 ohms, and the other one, it's just cra it bounces all over the place. So I chiseled them apart. Um, this one's never going back together. I cut it apart, actually. And then I've got another one that I, that I um, took apart, I think, where it can be reassembled. <clears throat> so what I did, uh, clamped it with some aluminum jaws. And don't go crazy. You don't want to crush it. But this thing's stainless steel. I think you would have to work really hard to bend it. And then um, you got this little chisel. I think it's probably a little wider than it needs to be to be perfect like this. So the end caps are really heavy. It's it's steel and it's freaking eighth inch thick. I don't think you could hurt that if you tried. But it's got a little chamfer on the edge, so it sits in there, rests on that lip right there, and then right in there it's bent over. So when I was chiseling, I just stuck, stuck it right in there and kept whacking on it, walked it around, try not to cut it, just just bend the flange out. <clears throat> so that was like that. Just kept whacking it and walking it around slowly. It took three or four or five passes. And then when I got it done, it now looks like this. If you can see that it's, it's kind of bent up. I guess it's kind of turned white where I bent it. <clears throat> so when you take the cap off, um, this is what's inside the little coil. Come on. And then this is in there. That little plunger floats inside that. The electromagnet moves that. And then the rest of it's buried in the remainder of the um, canister. Leave this joint alone. I'm thinking that's... I don't think there's any reason to go in there. But if you pry this and open, you can get the cap off and get the guts out. Um, so once you go inside that, <clears throat> this piece is in there and this little washer rests against that there we go oh, that's right there's an oh, there's an o-ring on the top and bottom of the uh, little coil I'm gonna, I think I'm going to put a fresh one in there oh, and my little washer has fallen down inside it's not where it belongs um, see the fluid is supposed to be trapped out of that port here inside the coil and back into the cap so this out here is not supposed to get any fluid because those o-rings keep it out keep it away so the canister should be dry that little u-shaped horseshoe goes in there and then i was keeping track of this i don't know if it's important because it this little um, threaded end cap traps a spring in there so that's kind of a preload against the plunger so i thought it might be important to know where it's at <coughs> so let's see if i can get some in there my little mark Line it up with something I can remember. So I was trying to figure how far it was from seated. One, two, uh, it's almost two and a half. The last one I did was like two and an eighth. So I'll try to remember that. Oh, this is a four millimeter hex. There's a spring. And then there's a little washer with slots cut in it and that's all that's accessible from this side um, I peeled this tape off Let me go ahead and show you what I found see how this one looks oh uh, huh the the last one that I fixed <laughs> these wires yeah that's that's interesting these wires, this and this, were way up here, real close. Um, and it looks like they, I, I could, and what I found was the little soldered tip on this one and this one under the tape were touching each other. And so I separated them and the resistance went correct. So I, guess, I think what's happened, somebody yanked on these, yeah, that's what did on that other one. They yanked real hard on these wires and pulled these all the way up here. So these two ends, instead of being far apart, were all pulled down here and touching so I stuck a piece of tape around and put it back together. I mean how yours goes if you try to if you get one fixed.
Here's what I'm trying to um, do to reassemble the canister. Um, I took that uh, top hat piece and I hit it with a grinder. This this one I haven't done anything to. And try to cut that chamfer a little deeper. Um, just for, bevel it off at 45. It gives you more room for the metal to bend over. And then I've got it clamped up in, in a little clamp to compress those O-rings. Try to keep them tight while I put it back together. And then to um, turn that flange over, hold a hammer on a heavy hammer on one side of it and tap on the other like that and try to get the get that flange turned back over where it was. And hopefully that extra lip that I cut on there will give it some room to bite. And I'll know soon if it's going to leak. I'll put pressure on it.